I've just received this uh, frame uh, at a crazy price. It was a crazy deal, only $17 for uh, the whole set. And it also comes with uh, 10 uh, propellers, 10 uh, sets of propellers, so 20 propellers total. It's uh, made by King Kong and uh, these are uh, so-called indestructible propellers. When you crash, they will bend and you can bend them back and your uh, quad will uh, fly again. You can get a set of uh, 10 propellers like this for around $10 and the whole kit was only $17, which is great. <laughs> and let's see what's, what we get included. First, let's take a look at the frame. The frame, it's, uh, it doesn't have removable arms or replaceable arms. It's only from one piece of plastic, composite plastic. It has a bit of flexibility, but it's also very tough. The reports are very good about this. If you crash it a lot, it will uh, take a real beating and the arms won't uh, break. We'll see about that because I'm a natural talent at crashing my quad which still works and looks like this and I'm planning to convert this into a hex as I already bought the needed supplementary motors and ESCs in the box we get several other accessories like a mini power distribution board which I'm going to take out of uh, the bag and uh, LED lights also that can be fixed on uh, the front or the rear uh, of the quad uh, assorted screws for uh, motors and for uh, assembling the frame and frame spacers and also jello removers for uh, camera setup you can install two cameras, one for uh, FPV that has this adapter which goes here in front of the hex and uh, another top camera to install a GoPro-like camera and it has uh, dampening to remove the jello and of course you get a manual which shows how to construct this thing and the included accessories and sizes and you get that the color of LED is random and you can get red, green, white or yellow. And we also get in here, as you can see, an antenna holder, the V-shaped antenna holder. And the battery strap, which is nice. At this price, it's almost free. Let's take a closer look. accessories so these are the LEDs they come pre-wired with plug and wires and all that needed this is a green and we also get a white so you can choose your colors there are surface mounted LEDs and they also have a protection cover which goes like this and will make a glowing light and this fixes with screws, which is very nice, being customized to the quad. This you will know. Let's see the power distribution board, how it looks. So here's the power distribution board. We get plenty of uh, contacts here. Enough for uh, six motors. And you can uh, connect the battery. Actually, you can connect two batteries, which I'm not going to do or not sure of what battery to install on this. I have some plans, but probably I will go with a three cell battery. And here we have the antenna holder. The V-shaped antenna holder, the top plates, and you can uh, select uh, green or black. You can customize it further, and the FPV racer battery strap. 
which sticks very nicely so you will not lose your battery the props are 5040 and I read up a lot of uh, these props online that they will take a real beating which I'm going to give them very soon I'm also going to do some weighting of the parts to have an idea of its proportions so the bottom plate has 134 grams a top plate will add or just just the top plate 25 grams so it doesn't have uh, uh, the need to, for all the props but why not wait 10 props so 10 props are 26 grams an LED board has 3 grams the top uh, adapter for the camera and the FPV camera has 8 grams power distribution board 2 grams aluminium uh, spacers for the frame and uh, dampening bolts are 6 grams and the screws for uh, the frame for this one and I should have another bag here this one so the screws are 9 grams so we get the idea and if I put them all here and this and this also this and I'm going to install the LED and the power distribution board so without motors or anything else we already have two, almost 210 grams so if you add more it will weight more like LEDs and antenna holder and like this 221 grams and if I take this away and try to wait this one this with motors installed without battery has almost 400 grams so we'll see when I move the motors the ESCs the receiver and add the FPV transmitter we'll see how heavy it will be but I think that it's going to be like a flying brick but we'll see soon bye bye